Salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Rimworld Mountain Men, where we have William, Ackley, Colmarole, of course, who we are following, who's riding around a husky with a saddle. God, I love Rimworld. Uh, <laughs> and Born, Octopus, Baradamo. We also have our two disgusting, ugly prisoners, Mega Scarab and Tari. Uh I think Mega Scarab is actually, yeah, he doesn't have any resistance. He's ready to be recruited, so we may go ahead and try and recruit him. Does it have a left lung and he has a stab scar? You know what? Let's let's look at him first. Moving, manipulation, talking, eating, breathing. Is it 50%? Moving and manipulation. It's it's in the 80s. Do we really want Mega Scarab? How good is he? He's a good shot. He's good mining, construction, and stuff. I may regret this. We'll try and recruit him. I don't. I didn't really want to because he wasn't that great. Um, but we'll probably, we'll probably take him and, uh, we'll try and go through their, I'll try and go through their priorities off camera and see who we need to have on what. I'd like to have a designated cleaner and stuff and, of course, someone for researching at all times so we can try and research all this stuff that we have. It's really not that much. Medieval prosthetics, Morrow Rim, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't, originally I, I, I was going to, and then I changed my mind. I was going to sell him, and then changed my mind again. I was like, you know what? Maybe I will take him. Uh, so, so I apologize. I think I will take him, though. We'll keep Tari, our, our Falmer, and we'll probably try and sell her when we get the opportunity. Oh, look at that. The Arctic Wolf is hauling. Thank you, Arctic Wolf. Look at that. Animals living in harmony under our roof. It was feeding the uh, feeding the donkey, but hey, how are you guys? Glad to see you. Hope you're doing good. Hope you have a great day. I'm happy you're here. Glad you're watching. Um, last episode, we actually finished up the pub somewhat. I mean, it wasn't, you know, sort of. <laughs> it wasn't fully completed, but better than nothing. We still need to grow some cotton to get our billiards table and poker table, which I thought you could use leather because I'm an idiot. Uh, but now we have our brewery and the table and stuff. So, so if we make wort... What's it take? Yeah, make wort from hops. That makes sense. We, we need to grow hops, and we need to grow some um, cotton this year. That way we have it for beer and also for other stuff. Ah, Mega Scarab. Glad you could join us. Join Ackley's community. Uh, I will mark that as not medical so you can sleep in there because we're running over with prisoners. Um, you don't have that anymore. Uh, how are we looking? We're going to need to get you some armor uh so we'll probably go ahead and make that for you let's see make you a set of we can make you some steel encased armor actually that probably look pretty cool on you huh would you like that how much steel does that take it takes quite a bit don't it 100 steel compared to eh, 100 steel for these warband armors yeah we'll probably go ahead and do uh, uh what's the does it say 85 on sharp, 40 on blunt. What's the normal, that, uh, the one we have here, the hauberk? Hauberk, I think is how you pronounce it. 74 and 20. So that uh, that one there, the steel encased. Was it steel encased I looked at? Right? Yeah, it's quite a bit better. So we could actually get that for him. Eventually, I guess we could switch everybody over to it. What's this one? Brigadine. 75 and 40. Not really the greatest. It only costs 50 steel, so half the cost, so it's not that bad. Um, eh, let's make him a steel encased one. We'll make him some boots, 25 steel. Yeah, we'll make you some boots, too. You're good at melee. You have a one in melee, so... Ah, maybe we don't make you that. Steel encased armor would be really good for... Melee, but we'll do we'll do the brigadine and give you a rifle. Um, you could have uh, well, you could have the blunderbuss. I guess that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, we'll let you equip the blunderbuss. Need to get you a sidearm as well. You'll probably have to take that axe. We don't have any weapons. We haven't had a raid in a while, which is unfortunate. I really want a raid. Uh, let's equip the. War axe as your sidearm. Yeah, we'll try and get you some armor. Uh, we need to set up your priorities. Patient. Are you any good at doctoring? Not at all. Two. 
Actually, I'm gonna put you on bed rest too. You could do hauling plus, I suppose. Wardening, you're not that great. Handling, not really. Yeah, hunting, you're okay. Construction, we'll let you be a number one in constructing. And Barry Dalmo is good at constructing as well. You can be a number one in mining. We'll take you and put you on two in constructing, actually. And you can do cleaning and research if you have time. I mean, that's plenty, to be honest with you. That'll that'll do us, you know, quite well. Um, we'll go ahead and set up some mining for you as well. I'm actually going to take Ackley, uh, put him on a two on mining. And we're going to put you on a one on mining. I'm going to get you to clear this spot out for us. Uh, we'll dig into it slowly. Well, I don't want to, just in case. I don't think this leads down here, but just in case it does, we'll kind of dig into it very slowly. I think we're going to try and put our stone cutting area down here. We'll probably do this as well. Like this. Everybody goes to bed. Bedtime. Betty Boo. And we don't have Mega Scarab a home yet, but we'll build him one soon. Uh, do we want to build it down here, is the question. Probably not. <laughs> we'll probably build it up here. Um, I don't know, though. Maybe we do build it up or down here. Couldn't hurt to do a row of residential buildings down here, could it? For people that we, that we get along with us. How do we do this? How many across was it? Five? Five across. Uh, I think we'll kind of put them here. So one, two, three, four. So that's five. And pull that up a little bit. Uh, how many is this? Six. 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 Uh, and then across is seven. Right? Yep. So that is the home. Is that right? It looks about right, but still, it looks a little small for some reason. I suppose that is it, though. So we'll go ahead and get him a home down here. Um, go ahead and get him some windows. Uh, I should probably just put them in the back. Put him one here. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll put him a door on. He will also need his own fireplace, so we can make that out of slate. Of course, eventually we'll make the row of houses down here and they can all share the heat just like we do up here, which we kind of need to do a fireplace eventually in each one because in the winter time it does get a little cold in there anyway, but it's not that bad. Yeah, we'll do a row of residential down here for the moment. Probably do like one down here and then one up here. And, you know, as we need to, we can also take it out here. Eventually, we'll probably increase our defenses out this way and we'll take over this area. Uh, eventually, I'd kind of like to just encompass all this as we get more people and we can actually handle an area of that size. It's just going to be harder as we get bigger if we don't grow our people and expand where they live because an area way out here or out here and we all live in this little area is going to be harder to get out there and we also need more streets for stuff like that so it's a part of it i kind of wish i would have built these doors inward but that's okay i have the street inside here it's going to be hard making the streets look good i think they're going to be really ugly <laughs> oh look i told you i told you didn't i tell you that the thing he might be down here i didn't think it would be but it is apparently we can actually build off of that, uh, so we'll do that there. The uh, Ancient Danger, which we never want to open. God, everybody is all over this, aren't they? Uh, we will. Slate walls. Maybe we actually go ahead and mine this out a little bit if we can. As long as we don't get into the ancient danger, but I want to—I want to mine it out. I want to have an area where we can actually store our stone blocks as well. So we'll probably use this for that. Mine it from here and then come up this way, I guess. I think it's a good idea. I just want to do that as well in the mountain. Uh, that way, when we get insect infestations, if we have it in the stone block area, it won't be near as bad as if. You know, it's in our complete storage area. I think I talked about that a few episodes ago as well. We need to get some lights in here. I'm going to go ahead and put Mega Scarab on a constructing one. Are you going to get it plant cutting? Not really. You could do it, though. I'll let you do it if you don't have anything to do. Any good at crafting? Not at all. 
you're not that great, not gonna lie, but that's okay. Uh, did we want to, we didn't want to use that. We have actual slate walls, correct? Yes, we have the pretty slate walls. Is that what we used here? We used normal slate walls up there, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Is that what we want to use, though, again? Or this is granite, because we ran out of slate, I think, at that time. Um, we could use this. I think I'll do this, and I'll put some doors in here, here, uh, here, and here. We'll have it as a big open area. And we'll do stone cutting in here, and also then have the storage for chunks and whatnot in here as well. Or at least the best we can <laughs> with, with the area that we have. Um, I'm probably just kind of mine into this. I don't want to go too far out here and cause a weak spot, but we do need a little bit more room for this kind of stuff, I think. Yeah, and that'll save us some time, or save us some room up here, because we can bring all this down. Uh, depending on what's in this ancient danger, if you guys wanted me to, maybe we could even do a little small video or something, or whatever you want to see. Or you don't have to see it at all, you just let me know. If you guys want to comment, of course you don't have to comment. I could just, you know, pop and pop, <laughs> get rid of whatever's in there to keep the immersion just want to pop out of the immersion that we may possibly have going on at the moment to let you know that if you would like to see that ooh something else I really wanted to mention with the windows something I forgot about is where they let the light in and out it's so pretty in this little area through here look at this little snowy corridor look how beautiful it is just where it's you know like the the lights coming out of the windows here I really like that we do also have, we have street lights we can do, uh, which we have these that require fuel, but we have the gas ones. I don't think they look as good, personally, the textures and stuff, but uh, they would light the area up really well, and they're a lot easier because we don't have to refuel them. We just use components, which we have a few episodes ago, this meteorite crashed, which is nothing but compacted machinery. So we, you know, we, we have quite a bit in the, in terms of, uh, uh, components if we need it so we should be fine we'll cut down some more plants here any up here we can cut and do some here it's gonna take a while for them to actually get this storage stone cutting storage and everything set up but that's okay we have plenty of slate blocks to use I think we want to probably do stone flooring in here as well And try to think of how we want to go about doing the storage. I think this looks quite a bit better than the normal texture. I should have done that up here, but that's okay. The smooth walls kind of, I think, would go more with that, but it's alright. It's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and smooth these surfaces. We have all hands on deck. I notice they're not making the windows for some reason. I assume it's just where we don't have enough wood. Ooh, finally made that. The uh, Brigadine. Where's that at? Brigadine. Octopus is putting it over here. Uh, Mega Scarab, whenever you get time, I want you to go put that on, please. And thank you. I would like to get you a different hat as well, I think. Maybe we get you a helmet. Do we make boots? I think we made boots. I don't even know where the boots are. Are they in here? Scaled boots. Uh, don't think those are the ones we're looking for, though, are they? Scaled boots aren't what we're looking for. Do you have the ones on? Full-plated boots. Baradamo put on the full-plated boots. So where are the scaled boots, Baradamo, you fool? Oh, wait a minute. There, we just looked at them. I'm so stupid. Go wear those scale boots. That way at least you have some armor on. I think we're going to make some helmets for everyone too. At least some people. Baradalmo. I, I like Baradalmo's face. <laughs> He's an elf. He's the only elf. I don't want to hide his face. Uh, we can make a head wrap. Um, death mask? Probably not a death mask. Anything over here? 
Interesting. Simple helmet. Ooh, Altmer helmet. You know what? That probably looked pretty good on Veradalmo. I kind of want to give him Altmer armor, but... Yeah, let's make, uh, let's make Veradalmo an Altmer helmet. I like that idea. And then we'll also make a... Can I make that out of steel? I can. Plasteel, silver, stuff like that as well. Ooh, I could actually make it out of silver. It's pretty interesting. Maybe we'll have somebody as a god king or something just made of silver armor. Um, and I'll probably go ahead and do a... Uh, bassinet? Is that what that is? A bassinet? We could make one for... Mega Scarab. Or we could actually make one for Ackley and then let Ackley have the... What is it Ackley wears? The nasal helmet. I think that's not a bad idea. I don't like Maris, Mega Scarab's uh, cloth toque. Looks too modern. I want something that looks rough and tumble and medieval. <laughs> Colonial. That he would probably have in an age and time like this. The stone storage is going to take a little while, but we're getting there with it. We will get around to it as soon as they get this stuff finished. What's this? Oh, slate fireplace. I forgot we were building an area for Mega Scarab. I'll have to get him a bed in here as well. And some flooring. All in due time. Due process. It'll come. Got a lot of trees that need to be cut, though. Ackley's working his butt off on them. And we also need to... Natural pathing. We need to do light dirt pathing through here. So that this stuff doesn't spawn where they can take cover. I forgot about that, and I'm glad I remembered, because that could have been bad. We really don't want them taking cover behind all this. It's going to take forever to do that, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and clear these, cancel these for the moment at least. <clears throat> and we'll take uh, Mega Scare back off constructing, so he'll do the mining up here while everyone else is working on the construction for this. I don't know if we ever done that here, to be honest. I assume we did, but it didn't go out very far, it looks like, so we could actually try and take that out a little further. Uh, we should try and mine this marble. I think this came from a meteorite because they could most definitely take cover from there. Now we finally got uh, Mega Scarab's room, though. Go ahead and reassign him to it. And eventually we'll work on trying to get him some flooring and stuff in here. It'll be a little while. You know, we could probably, now that I think about it, we could do a slate floor for him. He'd probably like that. There you go, buddy. Instead of wood flooring. I kind of kept it all the same up here with the original ones, but we could do some slate flooring down here for him. I bet he'd like it. And then we could also try and do some... I'm putting on a lot of construction orders. <laughs> it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, eventually, I want to do some wine racks and stuff up here, you know, in our decorate and stuff, but I'm just trying to, trying to make sure the colony survives for the moment. Oh my gosh! Look, William put on the, uh, put on that Altmer helmet. You know, William, I like it on you, but I want Baradalmo to have it. Baradalmo, do that real quick before you eat. Oh yeah, look at you. You look good, buddy. That looks really good. We need to get you some Altmer armor. I don't know if it's any better. I don't think it is, but we could make it. Some light armor. Altmer armor. It's not very good, though, so I'm kind of afraid to do it. But I like the helmet on you, Baradalmo. I like the helmet. Uh... I think, yeah, Octopus is working on that bassinet for us. We'll let Ackley take the bassinet, I think, and let Mega Scarab take his helmet. Why am I doing this? I just kind of, I don't like Mega, Scarab's, uh, Mega Scarab's helmet. And I want uh, I want Ackley to have a good one. Baradalmo, I don't know why I gave him this. <laughs> I guess because he's an elf. That's about all I could think. Um, it will protect his head, however. We should probably try and get everyone helmets, but I like being able to see their faces. There are there are people, right? You know, but uh, eventually, of course, we're going to get them helmets and stuff like that as raids get worse and worse because we'll have to to make sure that they're all safe and stuff. So eventually, eventually. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and call it an episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. We'll have another one coming out tomorrow, and I will see you guys then. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.